Hey, Danny Kay, coming to you from Danny Kay Gym and Wellness. Today's tip comes to you from Miranda. She is a gym member um, at Danny Kay Gym and Wellness, and we were talking this morning. Um, she had a question. <clears throat> She's a little like confused, kind of contemplating. Is she overtraining? Is she doing too intensive workouts when she is? Um, well, I'm reading my notes. What else? Um, not enough sleep versus inadequate nutrition. So um, so she's just trying to figure out, I guess, like you know, at, at certain times she feels drained, um, she is seeing certain results, but um, is she overtraining when she is working out? Um, is she, should she spread it out or whatever? So um, basically, so she kind of ran down like what she was doing. Um, I personally, when she told me what she was actually doing, um, hey Maggie. Uh, so when she told me what she was actually doing, I don't think that she's overtraining, um, and I don't think that she's too intense. So s overtraining could be like an example <clears throat> if you're doing a heavy chest day on Monday and then doing a heavy chest on Thursday. That's overtraining. Um, and uh, let's see, um, too intense um, could be like, you know, like everybody hears me talk about Tabatas. So when we do Tabatas, we usually only do, you know, like four to eight minutes. So I did have, it was probably a couple of months ago, um, you know, somebody came up to me and said, oh my God, I did Tabatas for 30 minutes today. And I mean, it was nonstop, like on the treadmill, 30 minutes, um, you know, and, and I said, well, one, you're either too intense with that um, or if you were able to do 30 minutes of Tabatas you weren't working hard enough so I'm trying to you know and, and Miranda like you know bear with me and if I don't get to everything leave me a comment then maybe I'll, I'll you know kind of do part two um, but so you know there is a such thing as overtraining there is such thing as too intense so like with those Tabatas you know, if you're doing those Tabatas you should be doing those Tabatas full force like all you got and by the time you're done your eight minutes it you should be like nothing left of you like it should feel like you've done an hour of cardio so Tabatas is is so that you you and like hit training and and interval training all that stuff it's so that you can do all of this kind of workout in this amount of time so it's like working out more efficient instead of two hours in the gym we can or I can um, as as your trainer condense it down into being one hour so I can get you to do two hours worth of workout into one hour and get those benefits um, see those results so Miranda said she was seeing results um, it's just like sometimes she just feels like she's so drained so when she was going through the list of how she works out like some days um, she'll do like my Tabata class now I want to I want to go back to that when I said Tabata is eight minutes and that's it if you're doing it for 30 or 40 minutes um, it's too much or you should be like stepping it up so <clears throat> with our Tabata class and I know there's probably Tabata classes all over the world um, basically what I do when I do my Tabata class it's four minute kind of intervals so we do four minutes all out all you got and then it's like we take like a minute or so to recover we get a drink um, you know I kind of set up you know I have certain stations already set up but we go back over that was kind of loud we go back over to the, the station and kind of go over that station so you got a, a little bit that your heart rate's still up but it's not like you're 30 40 minutes like balls to the wall you know constantly so Tabata's class is, is kind of like that it's it's like interval Tabata, Tabata not a consistent 30 minutes so uh, I know that if I ran I do nine miles an hour and I do I do two minute or um, two four minute blocks when I go nine miles an hour and I'm done my four minutes I am done there's oops hello <coughs> <laughs> there is no way that not running nine miles an hour I'm gonna get 30 minutes out so if you're doing 30 minute Tabatas like on the treadmill like constantly with you know not blocked out like I said you know with the Tabata class um, you need to speed it up because you're going too slow right okay so that said so back to like Miranda like on Monday she'll do my Tabata class and then she'll um, stay for kickboxing um, so she's like is that too much it's not um, because 
she's it's it's two different kinds of workouts so yes with the kickboxing she's getting her heart rate up however it's not as intense um, as the the Tabatas when when we're running through the Tabatas because she's you know like four minute blocks but you know the heart rate's constantly up now the heart rate is up with with the kickboxing but you know you're punching and hitting the bag and you're top stopping getting a drink so it's kind of like a, two different kinds of workouts so I personally would not think that she's doing an overtraining kind of kind of thing then Tuesday she does something I can't remember like every single day but like something one day she does something in the morning and something in the evening that's not overtraining because there were two different things so it's like she would do like a run her long run or something like that and then um, you know her karate class um, so those things like what she was explaining to me was not overtraining at all so my thought to her was she had as she put inadequate nutrition so I'm thinking, even though she's seeing the results, she's seeing results because she is burning calories. Now, at, at some point, it's going to, and, and she's kind of like, in, in, in um, she's <clears throat> kind of put a lot of this stuff, like she just started taking the karate class, um, and she's always been, she's always been a runner for, you know, for as long as I've known her, since she started at Danny Cajun Wellness. Um, she started doing the, the Tabata. So she's kind of putting different things into her workout routine as she's getting better and better. So now it's kind of like, you know, you got to step up the, the nutrition. So Miranda, I'm probably thinking personally and professionally that it's um, nutrition. So if you're feeling run down, you know, if you're doing morning workout and an evening workout, if you're doing like back to back classes, just two once a day or yeah, you know, once a week or something. And then, you know, you've got other things going on. You do your weights on this day and, or you do your weights in the morning and cardio in the evening. That's not overtraining. Overtraining, and if one one big clue is if you are overtraining, you are like drained and like you don't want to come in and you're like humdrum and you're like, oh my God, you know, you're dreading the gym. So that is a mentality of overtraining. But then once she started laying it out for me, it's not overtraining. She is probably in insufficient calories and maybe, a, you know, lack of sleep. So her regimen is not necessarily the overtraining. I don't think she's doing overtraining or I don't think she's doing too intense. Um, I think it might be the lack of sleep um, and uh, lack of quality calories and proteins to sustain what she's doing because each every couple of months it seems like she's you know she's so active that she's adding something else something else so if your calories are down here for all of this activity and then you engage a couple of more activities you've, you've got to step it up and it sounds funny but, you know, again, nutrition, I'm going to bring everything back to nutrition. Nutrition is 85% of how you see your results. So if you are, you know, here and you're seeing results with this kind of activity or lack of activity, and then you engage in more activity, now you, you, you do have to step up those calories. Um, and back in the day when I was starting with my, my first nutritionist, before I became a nutritionist, and I was, you know, teaching... Um, dance classes I had two three dance classes you know three four times a, a week so on those days I had to eat a little bit more than on the days that I didn't because I was doing extra extra cardio so you know you're kind of depleting you're going into a, a starvation mode so uh, the, the nutrition plays such a great big huge deal that a lot of times people don't think they think oh I need to lose more weight or I want to lose more weight so you know I'm just gonna do more activity more activity more activity but if you're not supplying your body with the right kind of fuel you are doing a disservice so for me you know, I, I don't want to do that much cardio, so I'm regulating my calories t so that I can still see, you know, my results that I want and not have to bust my ass on the treadmill. So if I wanted to eat the way I wanted to eat, I would have to do cardio, like, meh, and I hate cardio. So little cardio, the, like the smallest amount of cardio <laughs> that I have to do, and if that means I have to be a little bit more strict in my, in my eating, then psh, that's what I'm doing. Because, again, your wants. Remember, I talk about wants all the time. What is your want? The want that you have the biggest in is what you're going to do. So if you want to work out and you want to do all that stuff, then that's what you're going to do. But if you don't want to work out you're gonna, and you still want those results, you're going to find a different way of going about it. So that's what I do. I love lifting the weights. Well, I don't really like it, but that's my favorite part. Um... And I hate the cardio. So in order for me to continue to see my results, 
I have to be a stickler with my nutrition. So, you know, Miranda, I'm thinking that, you know, you need to get some sleep. Obviously, sleep is where your body regenerates and recovers and all that stuff. So if you're not sleeping enough, I know I'm not. Um, your body doesn't, you know, kind of, you know, recover and rejuvenate and, and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, what do we do? And we want to keep up our, our, our exercise routine so then we might reach for, you know, like bad foods, bad choices, or all this caffeine and stuff to, to try and keep us up. So we're, you know, we're, we're, we're doing this kind of thing. Um, and then, of course, I'm thinking inadequate nutrition. So whenever you're doing some sort of, you know, workout thing, if you're going to add something, let's make sure that the calories are right and the protein is right and everything for you to have the fuel. Like, again, I'll, you know, say about like with the cars, you know, if you're driving a Lamborghini and you put shitty gas and shitty oil in it, it's not going to run like a Lamborghini. So, you know, but if you start out doing those good fuels and, you know, you're just kind of like driving the Lamborghini like you would just, you know, like through town on, on the main street where you're just doing 30, 40 miles an hour. But now all of a sudden you want to bam, give it hell you've got to fuel the car right. You've got, to, you've got to do things right to the car to actually, you know, give you those results, right? So it's just like your body. You've got to give your body the fuel, the sleep, you know, everything that it can recover and, you know, continue to do what you want it to do. So, it, you know, you can overtrain. You can work too intense. Obviously, you can get not enough sleep, which is going to make you feel Ugh. So there's different things like if you are getting to the gym, if you're working out and you're feeling like, you know, and you do have those questions whether you're overtraining or whether your training is too intense or whether you're not having enough sleep um, or whether it's in, in, inadequate nutrition, come see me. I can help you. Or just do a checks and balance yourself, you know, like check it off. Like are you getting three hours of sleep and you should be getting eight hours of sleep? Then maybe it's not overtraining. Maybe it is inadequate sleep. Um, if you're, you know, stepping up your, your, your workouts because you want to, or you're engaging in, in, in more, you know, different activities, um, you know, you, you want to do, you know, karate with your kid or, you know, whatever, and you, you're not in, in, and putting that into your calories. Now all of a sudden you're doing that three or four times a week and you're still eating these calories down here for this act activity. You bump up that activity. You're going to have to fuel yourself more so that you can keep going. So do a checks and balance. If you need any help, I am definitely here to help you. Whether you're way far away or whether you're here in Westminster, Maryland, I can help you via the internet. Um, I can help you right here, right here in Westminster, Maryland, Danny K. Jim Wellness, Danny K. Jim Wellness .com. Um, You know, I have a, a, a great closed circuit channel that, you know, I can, I can do this. I can see you and I can train you and I can do a meal plan for you. I can, you know, talk with you. I can con give you a consult to see what's going on. I want you guys to, to, to see the results that you want to see. I don't want you to, to lose your motivation. I want to keep, that's why I'm doing these videos. I want to keep the motivation going. I want to keep the knowledge going. You know, um, you know, fitness should be a journey and it should be fun. Um, and, you know, it's all about, you know, it's not about getting from point A to point B. It's about continuing. And if you're feeling like humdrum or down or unmotivated or, you know, it just might be nutrition. It just might be uh, revamping your workout. It just might be getting more sleep. It just might be getting more water. So, you know, make a checks and balance list. Come see me. Um, I can help you. I can help you with the checks and balance list. Um, you know, we can converse once a month or whatever and, and just keep you going on that on that um that fitness journey the correct way so that you constantly see those results nobody loves work putting in all this work and then not seeing the results or you know just feeling frustrated or unmotivated and then all that hard work goes to pot right so let me help you on your fitness journey any way that I possibly can. So leave me a comment, message me, private message me, dannykjimawellness.com, dannykjimawellness on Facebook. I will see you guys later. Stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.